Okay, welcome back to another episode of Dirty Dave's Garage. Today we're going to be doing a transfer case fluid uh, change on an 05 Chevy Silverado. This would be the same for a GMC Sierra uh, with the auto track transfer case. The way to tell if you have auto track, you look in your truck. If you've got the auto four wheel drive as an option, uh, that means you have the auto track to transfer case and uh, you need to make sure you get the right transfer case fluid uh, designed for these transfer cases or you might have some problems um, I believe the the fluid is blue I've got I've actually got the bottle here I'll show you the exact kind you need because I went to the dealer and picked up a couple bottles so this is what you want the AC Delco track auto track to transfer case fluid Part numbers here. If I can find it online, uh, if you can get it from Amazon or something, I'll put a link down below in my comments section. I'm trying to get this. There you go. There's the number. But uh, again, I'll try to put a link below if I can find it. And otherwise, you'll have to go to the local dealer and pick some up. So let me get this thing in the garage. I don't know if we're going to put it on the lift or not. I might just climb under it and do it. Doesn't look too hard to do. Might be easier to just do that than throwing it up on the lift. So we'll get situated and we'll be back. All right, just a quick note before we get started on this project, I, I want to mention I took the car for the truck for a drive and uh, got the transmission up to normal operating temperature. But I also went through, I put it in four wheel drive high and drove it a little bit uh, just to make sure, you know, everything got moved. I even stopped when I got closer to home, when I got in my neighborhood put it in neutral, dropped it down into four low, and uh, drove it up the hill just to make sure that uh, the transmission or the differential fluid or transfer case fluid, pardon me, uh, got all moved around between the different settings in case, you know, there was anything in there needed to be cleaned out. I bought this car, this truck used, and I don't know if this thing's ever been maintenanced and even if they did it properly, put the right fluid or not. So I'm going to drain it. Winter's here. It's starting to snow and I'll be using my four wheel drive. So I wanted to make sure it was done and done right. So we're going to drain it out. Like I said, I've gone through all these settings, made sure the transfer case was working properly. But I also wanted that existing fluid to get moved around in there and flush anything out that might need to come out. And uh, I recommend you do the same, you know, get it warmed up a little bit, get it moving and then uh, drain the fluid. So we're going to get to it. All right, here's a look underneath. Here's the two bolts we're gonna be using. This bottom one here uh, to drain it. This top one up here, with my hand's in the way, <coughs> is where we'll, we'll fill it. And uh, it can be a little tricky filling it up. We're gonna try using a, a small funnel and uh, maybe a piece of tubing if need be to stick in there. Uh, but you can also pump it in. Sometimes using those pumps are a pain in the butt though. And it's only two quarts. Should be about two quarts, depending on what year you have. Some use two and a half quarts. You might want to look that up, find out how much you're going to need. Mine supposedly two quarts is enough. We're, we're about to find out. But I'm going to get this, this bolt out, get it drained. I got a small drain pan here. Don't need a big one because again, it's only two quarts, but I've heard it. It can shoot out pretty far. I'm not going to open the top one yet because I think that'll just make it shoot out farther if it's got air behind it. I'm just going to open the bottom one first and see what that does. And <clears throat> we'll try to get that on film for you. So bear with me. All right. So we use the 18 millimeter ratchet. Got it loose. We're going to go ahead and pull the bolt the rest of the way out. Here we go. Here it comes. And again, this should be blue fluid. And this doesn't look blue to me. I'm thinking they used the wrong kind of fluid. So I'm glad I uh, swapped it out. Or at least it's supposed to be blue. It looks awful red like they used regular transmission fluid. And we're going to get it all out, put the right stuff in. So we'll let that drain out. We'll be back. I'm going to get the fill bolt loose while we're waiting. Make sure you clean your bolts off good. 
wipe them off. I have a paper towel handy. All right, so the funnel trick didn't work too well, so I went ahead and hooked up a little siphon pump. And we're just gonna put one end in the bottle and pump in the fluid that we need. Uh, if you can, if I'd had it on the lift, I might have been able to get by with the funnel, but it's just too hard doing it from under here. So hopefully uh, we can just pump it in without a problem. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use a little siphon pump like this and pump our fluid in, and we'll be back. All right, that just about wraps it up. Got both our bolts back in. We pumped the uh, new fluid in till it was uh, running out. Two quarts was plenty for the 05. Uh, but again, if you could do a little research online, you could figure out if you got a different year, it might take a little more. Uh, but two quarts was plenty. I had actually a little bit left over, and what I spilled uh, trying to get it in the funnel didn't matter because uh, <clears throat> it didn't quite take the full two quarts. But we're good to go. I'm going to take it for a drive now, go through all the settings, just make sure all the different, the four low, the two low, and the auto shifts back and forth in the transfer, the, uh, yeah, the transfer case properly. And that's all there is to it, guys. Done. See you next time. Dirty Days Garage, and uh, good luck with your wrenching.